Hey, quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on our Wednesday. So Christine is still on PTO, so my good friend Leslie's in the house. How are you, my friend? Doing good, how are you today, Pam? Good, what did you do fun this weekend? I babysat my nieces and nephews. Oh, because there's yeah. COVID is lifting and we don't have to wear masks. Yeah, I was and... so happy to see them. It's been like a month since I've seen them, I think. Oh, there you go. And you're out of your boot? Yes, thankfully. I, it's not fractured. It's just badly sprained and needs time I, to heal. I feel like it should still be in a boot, but go for yeah. it. That's all right. The doctor we're... said no, so I'm good. <laughs> there you go. We're glad you're here today. All right, where is everyone watching from? Oh, we have people watching from Texas. And Ohio Joy is watching. Hi, Joy. Oh, also, and you saw somebody from the Netherlands yeah, this morning. Yeah, from the Netherlands is on as well. I feel like if you're watching from the Netherlands, you get extra gold stars. Because, I don't know, it's dark there, right? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Somebody will know what time it is in the Netherlands. <laughs> All right. Coolers, what did you think of our projects in our intro video? Let's take a couple, a look at a couple of these. Okay, first of all, we have this adorable ice cream cone project by Barb A. Okay, so Leslie, what dies did she use? She used the companion corners and angles, didn't she? Yeah, both. The 11.1, 12.1, and 13 and 14. Yep, so the bow ties, those two shapes that make bow ties made the ice cream cone um, scoop, the scoop of ice cream, and then uh, triangle and a square, or the half rectangles made those cones. That is super cute. Next up, we have this roaringly good quilt um, using our Go Dinosaur Medley. Do you love this one, Leslie? I love this. I Just a different take on the dinosaur I haven't seen. It is, and I love how the Brachiosaurus's tail goes to the next block. Yeah, I think that's cute. Yeah, good job. All right, and finally, Pat B. Um, set up this adorable baby shower. Okay, first of all, I love her quilt. She must have used the 12 inch cube, right? And the signature blocks. That looks like it. Yeah, and our Western medley die. What's great about our Western medley die, Leslie? You can turn the horse into a unicorn. Yes, you can. And then she used our pennant die to create the little background. Good job. Listen, Pat, you could just get make a job setting up for baby showers. Good job. All right, quilters, if you wanted the chance to be, have your uh, finished project featured in our show, you can send us a private message with the image of your project, or you can post it directly to our Facebook page. Is that right? Yes. Is that how that can. works? Okay. All right, he, we're doing Memorial Day patriotic theme. So here is my photo of the day. Leslie, do you know what this is? Well, you told me, but I, do. I don't remember. I did. <laughs> Um, first of all, one of my all-time favorite cities in the world is Philadelphia, and this is Independence Hall where they signed the Declaration of Independence. Uh, really, truly one of my favorite places. So the question of the day is, what is one of your favorite historic or patriotic places? So Leslie, what's one of your favorite places? It took me a while to think about she it. She had to think about it, it's true. But it's, um, we went to Arlington Cemetery when we were in DC yes. like 10 years ago. And did you go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier? Yes, yep, yes. we went to all of it. That's awesome, Arlington is a beautiful place. It is, but don't go in the July. No, it's hot and it's humid really there. It's really hot and like humid, Like yeah. worse than here. Yeah. Good, okay, so in the comments section today, tell us your favorite historic or patriotic place. All right, today is all about Memorial Day and patriotic themed projects. And of course, it's Wednesday, so we have an exclusive promo for you today. It is apparently May 26th, because the, co or the die uh, discount is 26% off Go Dyes and Cubes. And you want to use that code MAY26, M-A-Y-2-6. If you sh have an order that's more than $350, we are going to ship it to you free and... Our warehouse team is gonna very gently and kindly and lovingly throw a go me in your order, no code required. Yesterday I said the team would just throw one in your box and Erica had a fit about it. So <laughs> apparently they're gonna just gently put it in there, okay? So if you're spending more than 350, you get a free go me and it's gonna ship to the contiguous US free. All right, um, do you love that quote behind Leslie? It, okay, there's no pattern, first of all, but everybody take a breath. This is one of the first quilts that I made um, 
here at AccuQuilt, we used our tumbler die. I made it for my Oakley bugs. So it just has cute little ladybugs and it's just two colors with the white and black and then the ladybugs. It's very well loved and worn. And then right here is the project we're gonna make today. This is our new Go Patriotic Tumbler wall hanging. And it is a free pattern available at AccuQuilt.com. So be sure and download it and read all of the instructions before you get started. This was a project that I made. It was really fast and easy to do and really fun. All right. Today, I'm gonna give away one of our Go four inch tumbler dies to win, uh, share this video on your personal Facebook page. At the end of the show, Morgan will choose a winner and Leslie will announce it and we will all clap. So chance to win a tumbler. All right, so let's talk about tumblers. First of all, AccuQuilt has three different sizes of tumblers, all right? The four inch finished, which is the one I'm gonna use today, which is right here, okay? And the three inch finished tumblers, which are right here, right? And then the six inch finished tumbler. Now these two smaller ones will fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. And the six inch tumbler die will fit through the Go, the Go Big, and our studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. A lots of different varieties of sizes, all right? And so let's look at one and we'll talk about it real quick. I'm gonna grab the little four inch tumbler here. A couple of things to notice. Um, first of all, all of our geometric shapes have a quarter inch seam allowance built in. So from right here, to right here is a quarter inch seam. And look right here, we cut off those dog ears. Leslie, what other shapes do we cut off our dog ears? All of our geometric shapes. Yeah, and our like our triangles and stuff. So you can find that quarter inch seam, right? All right, so this is um, the same applies for the six inch tumbler and the three inch tumbler. Now that six inch tumbler is big enough to add an applique shape. In fact, it was the, one of the very first dies I used when I joined the AccuQuilt team almost nine years ago. July is my anniversary. I made two quilts, one for my great niece and one for my great nephew. They are twins. And I appliqued our elephant die to the bottom. So I did, their, they had an elephant theme in their uh, nursery. Then when I found out that Oakley was going to join our family, I made that super cute quilt behind Leslie for her. And again, um, I used that six inch tumbler. I used the circles to cut up and applique those cute little uh, ladybugs on it. It was the first of her many quilts. Don't ask Leslie because she knows how many quilts I've made for Oakley, which is more than two, okay? <laughs> all right, so quilters ask me all the time, so if I'm gonna use that six inch tumbler, what are some um, ideas for shapes to applique in the center? All right, so before we talk about these shapes, Leslie, tell me some of the patriotic places and historic places folks have been. So a lot of people are saying the Pearl Harbor Memorial. Pearl Harbor, I have yet to be to Hawaii. Someone said the memorial statue to the nurses in combat of the mall in DC. Wow, there are all sorts of memorials and monuments in DC. Um, someone said, the place in Wisconsin, the Stony Hill School, the birthplace of Flag Day. Oh, wow. Um, and then Kelly says she loves all national parks, but visits my husband at William National Cemetery. Oh, there you go. There you go. Lots of great places. DC, that's the great thing about DC. There's so many monuments and, and um, historic places there. All right. So let's talk about what shapes would you applique in the center of your six inch tumbler. So first of all, gnomes, gnomes for days. Gnomes are 26% off today. Leslie, do you know how much they are? I do, our gnome would be $27. $27. We have decided, the lovely Eric and I, we're gonna make gnomes for all holidays. So you can totally make one red, white. Oh, he is red, white, and blue on the packaging, okay? Next, Western Medley. We saw that in our um, intro video. And Leslie was right, see this little horse shape right here? For $5, if you have an embroidery machine, you can download the file and turn that horse into a unicorn. 
Oakley has a unicorn and tumbler quilt. Okay. Um, how much is our Western Medley, Leslie? The Western Medley die would be 45. 45, 26% off all dies and cubes today. All right, and then last, because it's almost summer. Okay, it has been so hot in Nebraska, I feel like it's already summer. Uh, this is Western Medley. This used to be a limited edition medley. die. Huh? Or Sea Life Medley. Thank you. Um, it used to be a limited edition die. Now it's just one of our, our team. Um, so it has the four shapes. It has the crab and the fish and the starfish and the seahorse. Okay, uh, how much is it, Miss Leslie? It's also 45. Also 45, look at that. All right, so think about some of these shapes that you wanna just applique to the center of your tumblers. All right, quilters, it is almost the end of May. So the Go Basket of Lilies die, which is our May die to try. Um, this is the last live event we have for May. So it is now $99.99. So if you haven't gotten the Go Basket of Lilies die, today is the day to do that. Get it for $99.99. All right, just throw one in your cart right now. Gently put one in your cart, okay? All right, you want to join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, June 1st, as we release the newest Go die to try. Okay, I know I see this all the time, but truly this has become one of my favorite dyes. Have you seen it, Leslie? I have seen it. She's seen all, she's, she's in the know. I am You've seen know. like all the quilts and stuff we've I made have. with it. I have seen all the quilts and some projects are going And do you love it? Working. Yes, I do. Or do you think you're going to use it? Probably not because it's a little too advanced still for me, but maybe in the future. Leslie's only been quilting a minute. Yeah. I need, to, I need to practice some sewing techniques first. We're, we're going to show you cool stuff, how to make it. It's super cool. All right, so um, the link is in the registration or in the comments section. Leslie, why do they want to register? So they get entered for the giveaways. Yes, we give stuff away. We give away dyes and we give away fabric. Yeah. It's going to be awesome, okay? All right, so let's talk about this four-inch tumbler. Um, I'm going to tell you that probably this is the size that I use the most. Um, the six inch one is great because you can make bigger quilts. But if you're thinking like you want to make a baby quilt or a small project, this is the size you want to use. It's perfect for charm squares. How many of you have charm squares in your stash? Raise your hand. Leslie, you have charm squares? I don't. None? Nope, none. I have none fat Halloween? quarters. None Halloween? No, all fat quarters. Wow. No layer cakes? Nope. I've used them up, Pam. That. I've used them up because you told me to. You have been sewing quite a bit. Um, the six inch size of our tumbler die is perfect for layer cakes. All right. So let's um, show you how to cut these. The first thing you want to do is I just have some charm squares. All right. And you always can cut six layers. Where do you want me to be, Leslie? Or um, Chelsea? There's Chelsea and Chelsea and Leslie and Joe and Justin and Mike. All the people are here. Is that good? Okay. All right. You can always cut six layers of good quilting cotton with our dyes, but you can also cut other fabrics. Flannel, felt, denim, wool, minky, cork, just to name a few. Always start with one or two layers of thicker fabric. All right. When I made the ones for my niece and my nephew, half the pieces were flannel. I know, which is kind of cool. And then the others were cotton. Now, you want to make sure that the label of the dye is at your belly and the lengthwise grain of that fabric back and forth across the dye board. How come they want that lengthwise grain, Leslie? Because then it'll uh, be nice and tight when you sew it together. Right, because if you have the bias edge, it's going to be all wonky, okay? So let's find low and wonky, lots of stretch. High and tight, you ready? There, that's that high and tight. So I'm just gonna lay my pieces over here. Leslie, while I'm finding the high and tight, tell us where people have been. Um, someone said the Manassas Battlefield in Manassas, Virginia. Okay. Um, I should have gone there because that's actually where our family lives outside in <laughs> Manassas, but we never actually went there. Okay. Um, a couple people are saying Mount Rushmore. <gasps> have you been to Mount Rushmore? I have, that was part of our trip in October. That oh, was that's our, like, right, you left stop. me. You left <laughs> me. What did you think of Mount Rushmore? Um, I like it. When we were there, it was under construction. They're redoing something. Oh, sure. So, but I like it. I think it's really nice and it's fun to. In learn my about quilting it. head, I thought Mount Rushmore was going to be way bigger than it was. Yeah, 
Yeah. Right? Because that, that big shot from overhead and you think, oh, it's gonna be huge. It's not so it's not so tall. Did you know they're actually they were actually supposed to do all the way down there, like the chest and everything too, but the rock was too brittle that they could only do the faces. No. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. Okay, Mount Rushmore. When you live in the Midwest, you can go to Mount Rushmore. Did you go to the Badlands while you were there? We did. Yeah. Did you go to the Wind Cave Tunnel? Not this last time, but a different time we did. Okay, side note. Ray Heller, very much afraid of dark things underground. <laughs> and we took him to the wind tunnels, and he thought we were just going to walk into the wind tunnels and feel the wind and the breeze. And they put you in an elevator, and you go, I don't know, like 200 feet underground. And you come out into this dark place. Yeah. I thought Ray, he, he, he didn't like that. That was not his favorite part of the trip. Okay. All right. So keep telling us in the comment section. All right. So I have my six layers. All right. I'm going to put my cutting mat. Quilters, you want to make sure you have the appropriate size mat for your die. I'm not going to use like a six by 12 mat. If I do, what's going to happen is it's going to shimmy as it goes through the cutter and then my fabric won't cut correctly. Today, I'm going to use my Go fabric cutter. All right. And we'll talk about it here in just a second. Don't forget, I'm going to give away one of our Go Tumblr dies. Share this video in your personal Facebook page for the chance to win. All right. So now I'm going to use my Go Fabric Cutter. This is on a six by six die board, so it could use it could be used in any of our cutters, including that Go Me. Um, this is part of the Ready Set Go. So let's look at all the parts and pieces of the Ready Set Go. The Ready Set Go has. Our Go Fabric Cutter, which is our manual cutter. Our two and a half inch strip die. Leslie, what do you use two and a half inch strips for? Everything, but mainly binding for me. Yep, binding, borders, sashing, yep. Um, a 10 by 24 mat, because what happens if you try to use a die without a mat? Absolutely nothing, right? An eight inch cube. The eight inch cube has, um, we have six sizes of cubes. They have eight dies that make 72 mix and match patterns. So we've included the eight inch cube. Our good friend Eleanor Burns wrote this great book called Go Cube, which is a pattern book for projects and quilts made with your uh, cube system. And a die pick. Leslie, what are they gonna use that die pick for? To clean their dies out after they're done cutting, especially ones that you use frequently. Yes, in those corners, like for half square triangles. All right, all right, so I'm gonna cut this. Make sure this is going to go through. That lengthwise green is what you want. And while I cut it, quilters, did you know that all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms? If you want to go back and watch this uh, live or any other lives, you can, including our Tuesday events. All right. So now, look at this. Ta-da! I can move it over here. All right. Give it some love because static is built up as it's come through. I'm going to slide that mat. Don't lift. Now look at this quilters. Look how perfect my tumbler shapes are. Leslie, how do you think, do you think they'd be this perfect if you cut them by hand? Oh no, I don't think anything I'd try to cut by hand would be perfect. <laughs> nothing, nothing at all, okay? All right, so I'm gonna lace them out and I'm gonna sew them together. And while I lay them out, Leslie, tell us about where people have been. Someone said the Berlin Wall, Linda did The Berlin in Wall in Germany. She said she was up there when it was up and when it came down. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's see, someone said the Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam, I've been to Hoover Dam. When I, we would drove through, it was closed. Oh, Leslie, <laughs> I feel bad. Um, a lot of people are saying like the Vietnam Wall. Oh, yes. Um, yes. And the 9-11 Memorial in New York City. Oh, yeah. Apparently there's an American cemetery in France. Sandy says that's where she's been. Right, from Omaha Beach, right? Yeah, that's oh. awesome. I don't, I'm not a big of history buff as you are. So. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so now look at how I've, do, how I've done this. I've laid out all of my tumblers. Some of you might think you're going to need a Y seam, but that's not really true. When you're doing this pattern, you're going to do rows that go this direction. So here's blue tumblers and red and white, okay? You're not going to do it this direction because then you would have to make Y seams and that would make you cranky, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, look at this. We cut off the dog ears. Look at this. So now all of these pieces are gonna line up perfectly and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna chain piece some of these and 
Don't forget our promo today, 26% off dyes and cubes. You're going to use that code MAY26. If you spend more than $300, $350, you get a free Go Me. All right, so here we go. We're just going to chain piece because you know how I love to do this. All right, Leslie, where else have people been? Patriotic historic places. Well, first, Christina and Morgan said that they said the Hoover Dam because Christina says she misses Pam. Oh, hi, Christina. Oh, I miss you too. But it's fun to have Leslie here. She has a whole different perspective on <laughs> I keep <quit> Live. <laughs> Hoover um, Dam is great. I went there when I was a little kid and I was a tiny little kid and it's huge and it almost kind of scared me. Okay, where else have people been? Sandra says Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone. Let's see. Kathy says the Korean War Memorial is unique and beautiful. Oh, there you go. Um, there you go. Let's see. A lot of people are just saying like the Vietnam Memorial or Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. See, when I go to Hawaii, that's what I'm going to go see. Okay, so look how I'm just chain piecing these for days. And the thing about charm squares <laughs> is that they're all different, so it doesn't really matter the order. <laughs> you know, if you kind of mess it up, it's like, oh, okay, whatever. Okay? So look how fast I did this. This is the thing. All right, so now I'm going to lay them out. Look. So you're going to have them up and down, up and down, up and down. Look at this. Okay? All right, so I'm going to just sew these last two... Um, rows together and then I'm going to tell you the trick about ironing. All right. Next event, don't forget to join Lynn and Erica and I on Tuesday, June 1st at 12 noon central time for our next die to try die release. I am really excited about this die. And you can register in the comment section, right? Yep. So you can win great prizes. The winning is the fun part. Eric and I, well, the dye is super cool. Okay, hold on here. And then while you do that, Pam, someone's wondering, if you have the fabric laying on the dye, does the lengthwise grain go through the rollers crosswise? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no, the lengthwise grain goes through the rollers parallel. I'll show you in just a sec. That's a great question. Okay, so look. And it's totally scrappy and it's totally wonderful, okay? So here's the thing. When I did this, I pressed one row, one direction, and the next row, the next direction, and back and forth, okay? Because then these little pieces are going to um, notch together. All right? Kind of cool. Now, here is a super cool trick. For this patriotic tumbler quilt, you need to have... Um, Col uh, tumblers that are all blue and all red and all white, okay? They have to be the same color. So I'm going to show you this super cool trick called the cut and flip method. All right. So somebody asked, here, I'm going to open up my cutter. Over here, Mike is over here taking copious notes. I can <laughs> hardly wait till the end of the show to hear what he has to say. Okay, ready? Lengthwise green. Here's those rollers. There are no blades inside our cutter, just steel rollers. So that lengthwise green is gonna go right here parallel to that. Oh, I see what they're asking. Yes. It's gonna go directly through there, okay? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna cut red tumblers. So I have my red fabric. Now, Watch this. Normally, we have this method called fan folding, where we take the fabric and we go back and forth. How many layers can we do, Leslie? Six. Six. But look what happens when you fan fold. You're going to waste all of this fabric in the corner. So we're going to do this method called the cut and flip method. So what I've done is I've measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch on either side, and rough cut width of fabric. This is my lengthwise grain. I cut off the salvage because you're going to cut it off anyway. You could stack six layers there if you wanted to. Going to put my mat on top. Now look at this. All of you are all stressed about this little tail. Do not be stressed about this tail. There are no blades inside this cutter. All right. So I'm going to put it next to my cutter. I'm going to run it through. Ta-da, ta-da. 
I always feel like music should play when I turn the handle on the Go Fabric Cutter. Give it some love because static built up. It's so staticky in here. All right, so here's my first set of tumblers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whole stack and I'm going to flip it. That's the name. Okay. And then I'm going to put my mat on top. I'm not stressed about this. I'm going to run it through my cutter. So that's how I was able to cut all of these tumblers out of the same color. Right? Slide, don't lift. And now I have my next stack of tumblers, okay? So you would continue doing that until you cut all of your pieces. Pretty cool, huh? All right, don't forget quilters. Did you know we have a blog? Our blog is a place to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, and more ways to use and love your AccuQuilt fabric cutter. Leslie, tell us about our go-getters. What do they do? Our go-getters, they write um, projects and patterns that only live on our blog. There's actually a patriotic one using Storm at Sea on there right now. I and, like that one. Yeah, and those okay. only live on the blog, and then they also they work with our product, and they're experts on them as well. Okay, I worked here for all the many years <laughs> and never knew that there were patterns just available on the blog. So sign up so you can get notification, all right? So now you would follow the pattern to create your rows. So this one you would have four blues and one red and one white and one red and one right, white and one red, okay? Now, notice this is, has kind of a jagged edge down here on it. What kind of binding, Miss Leslie, are we gonna use for that jagged edge? It is bias binding. Bias binding. Quilters ask us about this all the time, don't yeah. they? Yep. They it's say, Pam, it, there's like a method, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to cut bias binding. I'm gonna fold this up. Look how great this folds up. So if you needed to put it away, like you could put it in a closet, or if you needed to tuck it under a, a bed, you can. It's totally portable. It weighs about 15 pounds, so if you need to build some biceps. We tried to get Joe to juggle him, but he didn't do that. <laughs> he can juggle lots of things, but not that. Okay, all right, so. I am gonna use my two and a half inch strip die to make bias binding. And let's say it works for other ones as well, right? Yes, I think we figured out it works all the way up to the four and a half inch. Right, so starting from one inch all the way to four and a half inches because then after that they become single uh, sections of strips, okay? So everybody, this video lives on our Facebook page forever, don't stress. If you're in your quilting head, say, oh, I need to remember how to do bias binding. Guess what? You can go back and watch it during lunch. That's what I do, okay? Then, Pam, before we go into the depth of the bias binding, we have quite yes. a few people asking about, you did not have the tumbler die with the label at your belly. Oh, and I know I'm this one's for so a reason. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Yes, I do that to see if you're all paying attention. Okay, you are exactly right, whoever said that. Remember, I always tell you, label at your belly, lengthwise grain. And the reason I tell you that is because you know where your belly is, right? And you know how to find that lengthwise grain. But on this particular, when we do the cut and flip method, I turn it like this so that I can cut and flip. So where's that label? Yeah, it's over here. But where's the lengthwise grain? Still parallel to these lengthwise grain. Uh, blades still parallel to my belly. The most important thing is to remember is to cut on the lengthwise grain, but the label at your belly lengthwise grain kind of helps you remember, oh, I need to make sure I have that lengthwise grain. Good catch to all of those who caught it. I was just gonna talk about it, but I'm glad everybody figured that out, okay? Now, Leslie, there's two exceptions to the lengthwise grain rule. What are they? Strip dies and applique. Strip dies and applique, because that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay? Uh, strip dies, because when you cut lengthwise grain, do you cut strips lengthwise grain? No. You cut with the fabric, right? Two and a half, five, seven and a half, and so forth. And then applique, the minute you add that fusible, you don't have to worry about lengthwise grain because it stabilized it. All right. Here's our two and a half inch strip die. Here is 16 inches of fabric cut width of fabric, 16 inches. All of you are gonna say, Pam, does it have to be 16 inches? I'm gonna tell you yes. 
I've tried 14 inches, I've tried 18 inches, 16 inches, magic number, all right? And I cut off the salvage. Let's see, why did we cut off the salvage? Because you're gonna do it anyways yeah. later. Might as well do it now, all right? Do you know you match perfectly the quote behind you? Did you plan that? I didn't, I did not know what quote was gonna be behind oh, me. Oh, look, you let me look beautiful behind Oakley's quote, or in front of Oakley's quote. Okay, so you ready? I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna bring it down here to meet this end, all right? Look, lots of stretch. There's that bias that we wanna have. And let's see, what kind of quilts would we use bias binding for? Uh, the tumbler, double wedding ring, yeah. Hexagon quilt. Hexagons. Anytime you get a curve or a jagged edge, that's where you want to use it. All right. And now I'm going to pull up this side to meet it. Again, look, stretchy. Lots of bias. Now, I'm going to turn this because now my bias edge is parallel to these lengthwise blades because I want to cut bias binding. And... I'm gonna bring it up to here. Now, I'm gonna tell you quilters, bias binding waste fabric. You just have to suck it up, okay? If, if you don't wanna waste fabric, just cut lengthwise grain, or you know, with the fabric. But it's gonna waste a little bit of fabric, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna very carefully move my fabric so that it's lined up here in the center of this die. Make to find some fabric and test this. Practice it until you know. Do not use your good grunge for the very first time to cut bias binding, because what if you cut it wrong, you will cry. All right, now I'm gonna pull it up here. I'm gonna pull it up here. Now it kind of looks like an envelope, right? Lots of space on this end, not so much space on this end. I'm gonna just very carefully bring it down because you cannot exceed the six layer rule, all right? Even though you're in your quilting head say, well, I'm making bias binding, all right? So there you go, you ready? Now we're gonna put the cutting mat on top. All of our strip dies will fit through our go cutter and our go big and our studio cutters with the appropriate adapter. Here we go. All right. All right, while I'm running this through, Leslie, tell us historic places people been. A couple people were saying Gettysburg. Gettysburg is great. It makes me think of that movie. What's that movie I like? Remember the Titans. So, uh, okay. I'm not a movie person either, Pam. I know. It's amazing we can talk, you and I. Actually, we can talk about lots of things. We have Halloween and all sorts of things in common. Someone said in San Diego, the big statue of the sailor kissing the woman of that like historic picture. Oh, yes, from the cover of whatever, mag Time Magazine. Time. Yeah. Uh, someone said Westminster Cathedral. I've been to Westminster Abbey. That's very fun. Notre Dame. I've been there. That's cool. Okay, ready? Give it some love. Slide don't lift because it is so staticky here in the Dream Studio. Now, the first thing you want to do is get rid of these side pieces because in your quilting head, you're going to think they're two and a half inches. They are not. All right. So we're going to get rid of it. Okay, and look at this. This is super cool. So look, stretch, lots of stretch. When I made my binding, I folded it in half, and then as it went around the tumblers, it was so much easier to maneuver. Okay, bias binding. Super cool, all right? Any questions about bias binding, reach out to us here before the end of our show. Jackie does have one. Can we do the bias binding on our two and a half inch strip die that only has the two strips on it? Yes, but I don't know the measurement of how wide you want to cut it. We'll look. Somebody will know, right? I think somebody so. will know. Someone we'll, should. Somebody will know. We'll find out. Okay? I'll practice. <laughs> yes, but you can if you have that one strip die. You cannot cut bias binding on the strip die that has multiple sizes, unless you want one, one and a half, and two inch bias binding, which I don't know why you would, okay? So it has to be that single one. All right, so the last thing we need to do is cut some stars. To cut stars, um, you're gonna pre-fuse your fabric, 
Oh, right here it is. I got it. Thank you, Mike. All right. All right, so prefuse our fabric. And now you don't have to worry about lengthwise green because your fabric is stabilized. Here's our cute little star die. The thing about all of our applique shapes is if they're non-licensed, we have a free embroidery download. So you could do the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, or the motif stitch. If you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries, all right, because um, I didn't use it on mine. I just did some raw edge quilting, called it good, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do. You have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric. If you're using cotton, you can only cut four layers. And what I did was, this is really high tech, folks. I just fan folded it back and forth and let it cut whatever shapes it wanted to, right? And you could totally use scraps. You could totally make your white colors different if you wanted to. Now, think about today, 26% off cubes. You wanna think about the 12 inch cube. The 12 inch cube, shape number one in the 12 inch cube has a six inch finished square, which is big enough for most of our applique shapes. You could do gnomes, you could do dinosaurs, you could do whatever you wanted to. It's 26% off, how much is it, Miss Leslie? It would be 208 and it would ship free in the contiguous US. 208 ships you free, okay? Look at that. Throw in a couple of dies, get 350, and we'll add a little go me. All right? Join Lynn and Eric and I on Tuesday, June 1st, as we release our newest go uh, die to try. It truly is one of my favorites. Uh, register in the link below. What do they want to register? They get entered for our giveaways when they register for yes. our Tuesday events. They do. Okay, look. I should have made gold stars and given those away today. <laughs> Okay, Mason always says that to me. He's super funny. Now look, am I gonna throw this away? No, because I can get more stars out of the edges. That's the great thing about um, prefused applique. All right, so now look, stars for days. I want you to know that no one should ever cut stars or circles by hand. There is a die for that. We have 16 dies that cut circles. That's just wrong. Okay, because you're trying to cut a rounded edge with straight blades. Don't forget our promo today is 26% off go dies and cubes. You want to use that code MAY26, M-A-Y-2-6. If you spend more than $350, uh, we're going to give you a free go me, and it will ship free. All right? So then you would finish following the pattern. Uh, you can quilt it as desired. I kind of did this little walking stitch through it because, and out of red because I didn't really want to I, I didn't really want to change thread is really why, okay? So the red has all of the quilting in it. The white, not so much. I know. All right. All right, Miss Leslie, did, um, did Morgan pick our winner? Yes, she did. Okay, before we announce our winner, tell us two more places people have been that are patriotic and historic. Uh, someone said the Tomb of Jesus. In Jerusalem. Yeah. Yes. Um, someone said the entire city of Rome is such a historical place to visit. Okay, Rome... Philadelphia, my two favorite places to visit. Rome is so great. The thing about Rome is that it is old and new, and they let you just walk around. Like when you walk around, you, walk, you take a tour of the Vatican, there's these floors that are like 2,000 years old, oh, yeah. and they let you walk on them. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> okay, good job. We'll end on Rome. I love that. And the food is fantastic. All right, Ms. Christ, or Ms. Leslie's going to announce our winner. Drum roll or just Drum announce? roll, please. Thank you. The winner is Jen Parsons from Iowa. Jen from Iowa, congratulations. Morgan's going to reach out to you. We are going to ship you a four-inch tumbler. All right, Miss Leslie, thank you so much for filling You're in for welcome. Christina. Did you have a good time? I did. Good. It's are you excited to be? Christina makes it look a lot easier than yes. it is. <laughs> Are you excited to be behind the scenes next week? Yes, yes I yes. am. So for those of you who don't know, Leslie, when we have AccuQuilt Live, what is your job? I'm on YouTube monitoring the comments usually, but today Christina's covering for me. There you go. We're just all mixed up in here, all right? All right, don't forget to join me next week. I'm gonna give you some fun ideas for Father's Day gifts. Father's Day is just around the corner. We're gonna use that Go Big Bowl cozy die. 
All right, in be on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, upstairs we have Nick. At home we have Christina. Here in the Dream Studio we have Mike and Chelsea. And Chelsea, is this your last week in here? Or are you going to be here next week? <laughs> Chelsea Graphics has been training Justin to do our graphics. Come next week. Okay. We're going to have ice cream. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll be here. Yeah, <laughs> Leslie's coming in. All the people are coming in. We're going to show you how to use those bowl cozies to hold cold things. Uh, Justin is here, and Joe, and Chelsea, and the amazing Leslie. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great long Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm.